Good morning children. Today we will do a lesson on simple present tense. Verbs tell us what someone or something does. Verbs are also called as action words. So whenever the noun is doing an action and we ask the question, what is he doing? Then the answer that we get, that is the action word, is called as a verb. The tense of the verb indicates the time of the action. Tense means when the action has taken place. Whether it was before, whether it is right now or whether it will be later. So tense means knowing when the action has happened or will happen. In this example, the boy runs a race. So right now it is happening. The girl drinks juice. Right now she is drinking the juice. So here the verbs or the action words are runs and drinks. Both these verbs runs and drinks indicate that the action is performed right now or in the present time. And that's why they are in simple present tense. So children, in both these examples that are shown to you, the action verb is happening now. That's why whenever something happens right now, we call it as simple present tense. So what do you mean by simple present tense? Simple present tense indicates that the action is performed right now or in the present time. Now we will see how to use a verb in simple present tense. Let us take an example of a verb. Play. The simple present tense of the verb play. Let us first use singular nouns and see. When I use I, then we say I play cricket. In plural, if there are many people together, then in single present tense we will say we play cricket because we is plural. Same way, when we are talking about someone else, singular, you play cricket. Plural also, you play cricket. When we are talking about a single person, boy or girl or thing, then we use he, she or it. Whenever it is someone else in a singular form, then we say he plays cricket if it's a boy, she plays cricket if it's a girl, it plays cricket if it is a thing. In plural, we will say they play cricket. In this, you have to note, S is added to every verb after which three things? He, she and it. So, play becomes plays. In all the other sentences, play remains the same. It is only after he, she and it that we add S to the verb and make it plural. One more thing you need to know. If the verb ends in O, CH, SH or SS, then instead of S, we add ES. For example, he, reach. Now, because it is he, we would have added S. 
but reach ends in ch and that's why instead of s we will add es and the verb becomes reaches he reaches home in the same way go ends in o so the verb will be he goes g o e s he goes to school next ravi splash is the verb ends with s h so we have to add e s ravi splashes water so these rules have to be remembered by you now let us try doing the exercises look at the pictures complete the following sentences using the verbs in simple present tense looking at the pictures you have to tell which verb is present and you have to write that verb in simple present tense means it's happening now in the first picture there is a girl sleeping with her mother so the sentence is i dash beside my mother because it is i it will be a simple present tense verb without any s so it will be i sleep beside my mother b she dash in the pool what is the action that she is doing swimming now because it is she we have to make the action verb with an s so she swims in the pool in the c1 the tailor dash our clothes tailor ends with r so the tailor stitches our clothes es has to be added d shashi dash very good english look at the picture he is speaking so the verb will be shashi speaks because it is a singular noun again the sun dash in the sky the sun shines s h i n e s shines f v dash in the school playground v play in the school playground and the last one g he dash in a factory he does work in the factory because it is he the verb work will be with an s he works in a factory in the second one you have to match the columns with the animal and the action verb of the sound that the animal makes first one the goat your the first column is all the animals and the second column shown to you are the sounds of the animals so you have to match the animal with its sound the goat bleats the monkey chatters the pig grunts the dolphin clicks the owl hoots the lion roars and the vulture screams so here we have matched the animal with the sound that it makes that was all for today children i hope you have understood action verb 
in simple present tense. Thank you and have a nice day.